We have been through many great battles, brother, but nothing like today. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Factorio. Where last time, we became a super soldier. And got the final power armor and made ourselves into a walking, talking god. So now we have super speed. We have lasers that automatically fire from our suit. And we even have a portable fusion reactor. And since we are now in our prime form, it is time to finally change our color. Because now we are worthy of this branding. And we needed suitable war paint because today is gonna be all about war. We have a significant issue in our base right now where we are running extremely low on iron. We have about a million there, Pasha, and about 4.5 million here, Pasha, because all of this iron is being used to make circuit boards and then the iron down here is the main stuff we're using for like pretty much our entire factory right now. So it's not a lot. Five million iron won't do. And we want uranium so we can get into nuclear power, which we tried to get into last time, but uh, yeah, no uranium in the base. So no uranium, no iron, big problem. So we made our super suit and our goal is literally to destroy as much as possible. All to the south, out to here at least, and out to like way out here. We want all of this to be part of our base because we want this iron ore patch, 11 million. We want it, we want this. We want all of the iron and of course the uranium. And with how this game works, the evolution is always going up, meaning the bugs are always getting stronger. So that means the more time that goes by and the more bugs we kill, the harder this game's gonna get. So right at this very second that means, the bugs are as weak as they will ever be. So we have to make as big of a move as we can here. And luckily, we have a lot of fun weapons, like akimbo shotguns, the lasers, and cluster grenades, which we'll use on the nests. And with these weapons, we can tear through pretty much anything. So we are pretty much all prepared to go out to war, except for one thing. You guys have to remember to leave a like. But also, we're gonna need to be able to expand extremely fast. So as fast as we're wiping out nests and stuff, we have to be securing the space. So we'd be building walls, turrets, etc., etc. at checkpoints, probably like here first and then here, and then being able to expand out further. So we'll need walls, we'll need turrets, we'll need the whole nine yards. So we need a war template. I'll use these guys and then some walls and turrets. So let's see how we do this then. Well, number one, we'll have you and you just at that distance apart. We'll probably end up using substations in our design here as well. Yeah, I think that's the actual play because our main defense as we build out will be laser turrets. So we want power coverage everywhere. Ooh, but actually we don't have enough laser turrets to have this. Like considering our expansion plans are extremely vast, there's no way we could cover this whole line. Okay, so we're gonna modify this a tiny bit. We're gonna take out about half the turrets in the blueprint. Here's hoping that the bugs don't attack these walls all too much because as since we're going so far out, there's not a lot of pollution touching the bugs, meaning the bugs won't attack all too much either, right? So the walls should be relatively safe. But now we're armed with that blueprint and our variety of other weapons. We are ready to begin. We will wait until the next dawn and begin our rampage. With our first goal being to clear out to here in between these two lakes. All right, it is the dawn. It is time for our great war. Okay, we are going to cut down the line, go through here, set up a wall, and clear this out first. It'll be kind of our test run with our super suit, and we'll see how things go. Alrighty, grenades on deck. Uh, defender robots, these guys will shoot for us. We can have two sets. We can have three sets? Okay, we're gonna be fine. Let's go! <laughs> the robots are very good. Very, very good. And as we do with the tank, 
but we'll try and like orbit the nests and circle them to death. The uh, shotgun slows down our movement speed. I didn't even consider this really. To be honest. That is a huge, 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 huge problem. Moving and grooving is kind of uh, our bread and butter here. But it's working. Yeah, good, 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 good. Robots, I love you. They're taking a lot of damage. Are they gonna die? Will I notice when they die? Probably, we'll start getting overrun, but that's one nest done. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, that's a rock. Don't forget about the rocks. Shotgun is, we are so slow with the shotgun. It's effectively useless. I was wrong, actually. We get like five feet ahead and we just use a shotgun to blast. Clears out pretty well. It's the Spitty Boys, man. The Spitty Boys. Thick and scary. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no. No, speed. We're running a little low on power. We're halfway down our grid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's so good. Woo -hoo. There we go. All right, so that was about half of our grenade supply. We got through a lot. Let's bring, no. No, 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 no. We're going in. It's morning. We're gonna get recharge on our shields and stuff. We'll wait till this is at like halfway. We'll throw down more defender robots and then we'll go back in. Um, okay, we're going in. We're gonna rely more on bots. Maybe, uh, ooh, 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 Maybe. We really want our shields, right? Why don't we just take out a couple of these? So we're a little weaker, sure. Well, that's fine. We'll defend more with the bots. We have three of them, we're okay. Use the grenades tactically and rely on our shields. Like one grenade every so often instead of just spamming them. Oh my god, this is working like a thousand times better, dude. A thousand times better. Oh yeah, dude. So much more efficient, man. So much more efficient. We use like six grenades there. Maybe eight, maybe 10, but very few. And that entire nest is dead. All right, we have cleared out a huge portion now. It's time. We gotta get some defenses set up. We gotta bring out the guns. We gotta bring out the turrets. We gotta get everything out here, brother. Let's go. All right, and of course we want our robots as well. But with the bots, go out, gentlemen. Go out and build. But now we're just gonna leave the uh, other robots from our base to deal with the rest of this. We have to focus on scooting. Scooting quickly. And let's run. Brad. Yeah, we're getting rid of these small nests like they're nothing. Defender robots are a win. These big nests, though. They're a little bit more spooky. Oh my gosh, the map. Uh, I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. We don't have enough grenades. We're gonna have to go on the outskirts of everything and just keep doing this. Yeah, it's slow, but it works so well, man. It works so well. Especially if you can just loop around the pieces just like this. Okay. And we are doing a lot of work, but our suit is now like dead. I'm leaning towards just not having these in our inventory at all. Like that, that's it, they're, they're gone, they're gone. Uh, we gotta keep on expanding the walls. It's slow work getting through these. You can't just run around the nest like constantly. It's just a slog. And we're not making as much progress as I was kind of hoping here which is a huge problem because this is just like the first part of the battle. But things are looking a lot better now. We have a lot of robots going out here. Our defensive wall is now starting to come over this way. We just have to scoot a little bit of this nest, this nest mostly, and then we have kind of our southwest defended and we got the uranium and a little bit of iron. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go like this far out on the next attack, but we'll see. So far this is going well and I've learned a lot. Uh, one thing is that my defense design is not stackable, which has ran into a huge problem. So like I try and just place, 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 place. It doesn't stack properly. And that is like huge. So uh, this is pretty much Garbo. And also inventory check. We are super good on ammo. Uh, we're right out of cluster grenades. All right, let's just go for a run back. It's nighttime. And then we'll come back here and we will start to fix up and finish up everything. What is going on here though? Why is there destroyed stuff out here? Oh, they're setting up another nest. Oh, they're already starting. Oh no, 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 we gotta hurry up. Oh no. Let's just see how our little grenade and weapons factory is going. 
Not good. Well, we have about a hundred. Yeah, we had about a hundred left here for us. Holy ammo, please. Thank you. What else are we bringing with us? Defender robots. Well, those guys are trying to bring me some, but let's see how many we have in the factory. Where is the factory? Just down here? Yeah, like I just, it's just a really quick makeshift looking thing. It's nothing crazy. Yeah, we gotta like super expand this. We have to super expand like everything. Well, that's just how it is. We have to keep moving here. We cannot slow down at all. The bugs are keep getting stronger. We have to push our advantage. Oh yeah, brother, we can hold our own. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's an absolute massacre. Absolute massacre. <laughs> oh man. It's it's kind of funny how it works now battling. It's it's all good until it's not because the second something goes wrong, you're pretty much screwed. One wrong move, man. One wrong move. Oh my gosh, though. After like 95 years, though, we have the Southwest secured. For the glory of our empire, we have done it. <laughs> oh my god. It was insane. A slaughter. But our bots now fly in from the base and start building our little ragtag defense. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just gonna get back to base and restock. Uh, more than restock, actually. You know what? We are literally going into full war mode. So what we're gonna do is we're going to automate more red ammo for the defender bots. It's kind of the thing we're lacking. And then we're gonna get more cluster grenades. We need millions of them to clear out the world. So this should be worth the time investment. Oh my gosh, and all the while I'm doing stuff. They literally are moving right on in like it's nobody's business. Have you not realized the property rights have been claimed? Unbelievable, dude. And the audacity. Oh, hey, 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 hey. And the audacity just to build with uh, pretty much within my factory. Like, literally, it's right there. It's all right there. Ridiculous, man. But on a good note, our grenade production has increased substantially. So now we are getting absolutely an insane amount of these cluster grenades. Already showed off the ammo, so we have bots. And we are ready for the second move. Let's see the damage done. Well, they've reclaimed this area a little bit, but that's fine. It's small nests, we can wipe those out quickly. And then, by the time we get to about here, in these dense nests, we're gonna have a problem. Out of anything though, I want this. The 11 million iron ore. <laughs> that can last like two hours. That's insane. I want this, I want this a lot. I want this a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're gonna be going for it. All right, same as last time though. Gonna wait for morning and then we go once more into battle. Well, go time, brother. So we're gonna go back down here, clean this up and same old, same old, brother. <laughs> we got grenades. We got the bots. We're ready to rock and roll. And I think we got ourselves a bit of a pattern here now. Bots do everything, and we throw grenades. Oh my god, and we, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh my gosh, because this wasn't over under radar uh, coverage. This has been spreading all over the place. Wait a second, what? Dude, how far did this spread? Uh oh, uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We might have a huge problem here. Uh, let's take a quick old drive around. Let's see the potential damage. I have no idea how the, the spawning works with this game. Huh, okay, well, hopefully no more just pop out of nowhere. Oh my freaking gosh. Dude, all right. We in the zone. The spooky zone. This is like the Omega nest. This is not cool, man. But the nest is so big, the bugs get stuck trying to get through their own nest here. <laughs> uh, I vibe with these problems. It's like with my factory. <laughs> Alrighty though, we've got a big chunk of land here, super quick, I'm just gonna add in more defenses. 
I don't want to go back into like our base area and then find like 20,000 bugs I've already set up again. So we're gonna set up like basic stuff. Just like a turret here and there just to defend. Nothing too crazy, but enough to stop the bugs from spreading into our base. All right though, we're doing well. We're making good progress. Oh, the goal is in sight. We still got some big fights ahead of us. Again, we wanna go down here and over this way. So, <laughs> let's start with our big prize, the 11 million iron down this way. Then we'll go over to the super nest. All right, apparently we're making lots of plates too. Nice. Yeah, I redirected a couple things so we could actually have some grenades and things. It was a good plan. But once we have this patch, <laughs> we will have so much more. Okay, well, the iron patch has been secured. So, let's get this wall all the way down here. We're gonna start building over this way. Do we need coal? What's coal even used for? We're kinda done with it. And we can quickly get this coal up here if we really need it. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna forget about it. Yeah, we're gonna forget about it. We're gonna go out to here, cause 9.2 million copper, more iron. Ah, I gotta get it. Yeah, we're just gonna focus on the iron and stuff. Screw the coal. Yeah, let's continue to this. So we want that copper, so we have to destroy everything here. Well then, back into the arena. So the world was one way, and now it is another. Through our glorious combat, we have destroyed almost all the bugs. I'm just gonna wipe out a couple up here to the north, build our walls, and we will have the area secure. And that's gonna be pretty much it. We don't really need much more to the west, aside from maybe oil. North is bare, and that's, that's fantastic. We'll take out our old defenses, we will expand our empire and we will get the millions of iron that we rightfully deserve. Oh my gosh, and as I'm building, are you kidding me? This island over here is killing my bots because my bots are trying to fly over here. <sighs> Always something, right? Always something. Oh my gosh, destroy. Dude, so many freaking bots have died to this stupid, stupid island. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> After everything that we've gone through, the fighters get their revenge. Well, now I get my revenge. Oh yeah, what, what now? What do you do now? Oh, they're trying to hide. Well, then if they're gonna hide, I guess there's only one thing we can do. Let's go say hi. Can you follow me? Oh, you can. Could we make one of these guys a pet? 
JK, we'd never make one a pet. Let's go! Do, 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 do. Goodbye. And now the island is ours. We will plant our flag and be done with it. Hmm. And looking at our wall, could we take out one more nest? Oh, it would be so nice if we did, but it's gonna be brutal. Mm hmm. I think we're gonna try. And we're just gonna make a giant turret bank and use this to do most of our DPS. And big scary thing is though, there are green bugs now. So the strongest bugs in the game. So this will be our first fight against them. So hopefully we do okay. All right, boys. So one more go. Let's do it. We have all the grenades in the world. Laser turrets everywhere. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we're screwed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. How do we get out of this? Oh, do we get out of this? That was dangerous. I could have threw grenades in there, but I was honestly horrified. I didn't think we'd make it out. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're good though. Uh, uh, oh. Dude, we've made it so far. We have gone through so much. We cannot go out to the last base we're fighting. It ain't happening, Chief. Oh my gosh, it's been done. It's been done. Let's complete that freaking wall. I've had enough. I've had enough. And with the battle finally over, let's do a little after action report. So by pressing P here, we can check out all of the items we're producing and stuff like that. We can put this up to about 10 hours and that's, you know, about the time I spent in this episode here. And if we go to kills, we can see that we've killed 17,000 big spitters, 13,000 big biters, who cares about the medium ones, and 53 behemoths. So 17,000, 13,000, oh and nests, uh, about 1.2k for each, ish. So compare that to all time, so that was the last 10 hours, this is all time. So 26,000 spitters. 18,000 big biters, and 1.3k nests. Yeah, you're reading that right. We pretty much did all of the killing in our entire playthrough in just this one episode and the battles. The only real discrepancy is the big spitters. That's it, we've been killing a lot of them with turrets. I can't believe the nests though. Like literally, we, we had, we'd only killed like a hundred before. And just in that last battle, we killed over a thousand. Unfreaking real, brother. Unfreaking real. And then let's take a look around at resources here and see what we ended up getting. Aside from this massive amount of space, which is pretty much double the size of our factory, uh, I counted up the iron. We now got 26 million iron out of all of this. We have a ton of stone. I didn't bother counting it up, but it's looking like four, five, Seven million, nine and three, so 12 million copper, good, and a little tiny bit of oil. All in, not a lot of resources except for iron. But then again, all we really need right now is the iron, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Oh, wait a second though. And of course, how could I forget our precious uranium, mm -mm -mm, which is about 2.7 million. I have no idea how long that lasts, but we'll be finding out next time when we start setting up all of our nuclear stuff. But until then, that's gonna be all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs> <laughs>